So today we've got the task of sample netting the ponds. It's coming to the end of the growing season, so we want to see how the fish have done so we can recalculate the feed ration for the end of the growing season when the fish weights are going to peak. They're really actively feeding at the moment. It's sort of 15, still 15 to 20 degrees in some of the ponds, so they're really active and feeding hard, so I want to make sure I can get them to peak before we come into the winter. So today we're going to go down there, do a quick net of a couple of ponds, have a look at a sample, do a sample weigh, so I can recalculate the feed ration for the next couple of months. And then we'll also I want to look at how the fry recruitment is coming along, see how, how, the, how big they are, how successful they've been, and then we also need to take that into account when we're recalculating the feed ration. So I've got Andy and Dave coming along shortly to give me a hand with the net. I'm going to go down there, do a quick sweep of the ponds. It's, it's important to bear in mind this time of year, we're still in the summer, so it's not usual practice to be netting the ponds this time of year. The fish are going to be very active, they're probably going to try and jump the net. So we're just going to do a quick net, we're not going to use any dip nets, we're going to handle the fish by hand over the net, just see how they've done, real quick. We don't want to stress the fish out too much because this is where we want them growing. So it's important to note that this is a winter job really. We won't, won't be moving any fish today. We don't want to stress any of them out more than we have to. So we leave all the fish movements to the winter below 10 degrees ideally. So this is just a, just a practice of having a look, a cross section of what we got, recalculate the feed ration. So I've got John down with his camera today to film it so I can show you what a cereal fed carp looks like. Okay, so we've just done a first sweep on the first pond here, just a quick sweep through. Like I said, it's real warm, so the fish have been real active and jumped the nets. We wouldn't have caught them all, but we've got a good sample here. These are all C3s. Um, all they've ever seen is cereal feed. We get asked a lot through the summer, how do your feed compare to industry standard fish meal stuff, the market leading stuff, and here you can see for yourself. Hey, don't worry. So still very active. We wouldn't normally, uh, wouldn't normally net this time of year, obviously the fish are still real active, but we won't be moving any fish in this weather. But for the purpose of today, getting a little sample of what we've got. These little three-year-old carp are doing really well. Pretty happy with them. Um, in a moment we'll get a, a um, in a moment we'll get a look at a, a sample way of what we've got so we can get a good idea of the average weights and recalculate the feed ration for the end of the season. Netted another pond, this one's for the C4s, C5s. C5 here, pretty lively, still warm. Um, just getting, a, again, like a cross section of the fish uh, so we can recalculate the feed rations, get them to uh, peak for the, before the winter. Put a few more pounds on them before we get to the winter. And it's clear in this pond that uh, we've got a lot of fry recruitment who always do in these ponds, real fertile clay ponds. But they spawned a bit later this year, uh, so they haven't reached two to fours like they have this time last year. But um, yeah, we've got to take that into mind, the, the sheer number of uh, fry we've got coming through. Uh, so we need to add that into our feed calculations to finish the summer and keep these growing like they should be. Nice fish, good condition. Never seen a fish meal pellet in their lives. Got pictures of these every year. They're absolutely packing it on as, as you would expect from any fish farm. So let's get them back. 